Hi, this is Paul from TraderFifth.com and this is my daily stocks signals video for Wednesday the 6th of February. Uh, today I've chosen one of the signals from our stock signals membership. Our members get to download potential long and short fifth wave trades on the weekly, daily and the 60 minute time frame every single day. In the members area here we can choose from long or short. I'm going for longs today. Members simply click on the image and download the spreadsheet which looks something like this for today. So um, this is the 60 minute. I'm looking at a 60 minute time frame on AMD. I'm going to go and set that up right now. At the, the bottom of the spreadsheet you can see daily and weekly. This is the longs and these are the results for today for 60 minute time frame. AMD chosen the top one for a potential long trade fifth wave move on the 60 minute time frame fifth wave is the highest probability move in a trend so let's have a look at the chart so this is our elliott wave indicator suite for the think or swim platform it's also available for ninja trader trade station and multi charts and we are developing it for more platforms as we speak so main thing for me is we were quite range bound we were in a a, a little bit of a, a bullish sort of bias if you like but earnings was the big catalyst for this big move up on the wave three. Since then, we've had we've pulled back over the last three days on this 60 minute time frame. Now, this is a typical wave four pullback, and this is how this is we our software measures this to look for those high probability trades. So let's talk through this wave four pullback on the 60 minute on AMD and look what the entry strategy is. So, first of all, the wave force pull back against the main trend. It's found support in our green zone. We have a green, amber and red zone for our pullbacks on that wave four. Now, the green zone represents a probability, a probability of 85 percent. If that support level holds and we move up, we're going to get that new wave five high into our automated target zone here around about 2580 in the middle of there. So a good, a, a good uh, probability, 85%, if we start to move away from these lows now, go through our 6-4 moving average high, which is the green moving average part of our Elliott Wave Indicator Suite, we've got a good probability of a fifth wave move. The next, we look at the performance of that wave four. So at the top of the three subcharts here is the 535 oscillator. Now this has pulled back during that wave four, uh, and we are between 90 and 140%. This is fantastic. Uh, this is really, really good. This is where we want to be between the 90 and 140 percent. We'd like to see that crown um, over the next few candles on this 60 minute time frame and start to pull back up to zero if we can get some movement higher. The next, the middle subchart is our false breakout stochastic. So the yellow bar at the top denotes a strong bullish trend. When the stochastic pulls back against there and crosses over, the likelihood is it wants to return to that main bullish trend back in the overbought zone. So that's really good. Now, also now, <coughs> I use my, I've we've got a black box breakout indicator suite as well. And part of that is our multiple time frame dot cloud. So I'm using that as well on here just to confirm this main bullish trend. All on these multiple time frames, we're, the green means we're above our EMA cloud, as you can see right here. So on the, the two hourly, the four hourly, the daily, the weekly, we're all above. So it's really strong bullish trend at the moment for AMD. And we've had this little pullback on the 60 minute. And as you can see here, the top row of bubbles here, dots, are cyan. So this means, or they were red there, this means they are in the cloud, or the red means they're below the cloud on this current time frame, the 60 minute time frame, the one hour time frame. Now, if this pullback holds and we start to go green again, we've returned to that main bullish trend. So we're above that EMA cloud on all of the time frames. So to make sure that happens, we've got, I've gone for a conservative entry. So we're, I've gone above $24. So that's outside of our 6-4 moving average high for the first hour bar position of today's trading session. So 2404 long entry for AMD. 2296 is a stop loss, a couple of cents below the wave four. Now, if this takes out the stop for the order before we even get in the trade, we just cancel the order. We allow that support level to form again and we reassess, making sure our 535, our stochastic and everything else is good. And we reassess an entry strategy. But for today, this is our entry strategy, 2404. The target's around about 2580. So a risk reward of 1 to 1 1.6. 
very simple signal came from our stock signals membership really really good membership um, we have now used our Elliott Wave Indicator Suite to confirm that signal, to set it up, make sure that Wave 4 has behaved correctly, and now we're ready to put that entry strategy together, which is really simple. We're using our 6-4 moving average high. We're making sure we've got a decent risk to reward, which we have to our automated target zone there for that fifth wave. So everything looks good. So, okay, so that's it for today. Have a great trading day, and I will speak to you all tomorrow.